Want to know how you can reprogram your subconscious mind to help you accomplish every dream that's on the inside of you? When you understand the mechanics of the subconscious mind, you can use it to your advantage. And today you will learn how. That's next. Welcome to Elevate, folks. My name is Ben and I'm blessed by your company, so thank you for stopping by. I hope this message encourages you and lifts you up and maybe gives you some information, a little bit of behind the scenes information to the subconscious mind and manifesting with the law of attraction that you've not heard anywhere else. If you love your time here and you haven't done so already, why not consider subscribing and joining our family? I post videos just like this one every single day of the week and in fact there's over 500 of them on the channel. So when we're done here today, why not click on the channel icon and browse it, see what's there. I'm sure you will find something that meets you right where you're at. Also you're welcome to click on the link that's popping up here to check out a little bit of information on my coaching and mentoring group if diving deeply into universal principles is something that interests you. But today, folks, it's a behind-the-scenes tour of the mechanics of the subconscious mind and how you can access the subconscious mind, your subconscious mind, and turn the table on its power to actually help you manifest your dreams. You know, the subconscious is an incredible thing, and it's largely very misunderstood in terms of its benefits and its hindrances towards us. You know, we all walk through our lives so unaware to the programming of our subconscious mind, how that programming got there, and the methods we can use to shift it. And there's one key aspect that I want to share with you today that will empower you to move forward swiftly to accomplish every dream on the inside of you. Manifest the new reality you so desire, and it doesn't matter what that is. For some of us, it might be manifesting a new body. For some of us, it might be millions of dollars or winning the lottery. Maybe it's, well, maybe it's being the best mum or dad you can be, having a family of your own. Whatever the dream is on the inside of you, it's there for a reason. And it has not manifested itself yet because there is more journey to travel. Now the subconscious mind is the thing that fights us every bit of the way and yet we have no awareness to it. Why is that? Well, if you've been with me on the channel for any amount of time, you've probably heard me share some thoughts surrounding the time I spent studying psychology and counseling, where we looked at brain chemistry and the neural networks inside of the mind and the different things that happen. And you know, I was, well, I was absolutely gobsmacked and amazed when I first learned about how subconscious programming actually works. You know, there's so many people that talk about programming the subconscious, or how to get access to it, how to transform limiting beliefs, but very few people have the mechanical understanding of what's really going on. That changes for you today because knowledge is power. And without knowing this, it's impossible to effectively implement the change and the strategy that you need so you can move forward. Ben, what are you talking about? Hang with me, folks. You see, the subconscious mind is the part of the mind that receives all of the stimulation from around about us and decides what we actually become aware of. Do you know that Every minute of every day that you have your eyes and your ears open, you are receiving 11 million items of stimulation. 11 million every minute. Isn't that wild? Then you might say, Ben, that's crazy. It's crazy, but it's true. And when you start thinking about it, let's take pause right now. And let's begin to think of some of the stimulation that surrounds us right at this very moment. So in this room, I'm here talking to you through a camera. There's a little light in front of me and all these things are happening around about me that I'm actually aware of, but the subconscious is filtering out. So there's a fan going above me and it's blowing a lovely breeze. 
There's a light shining through my doorway and it's just a little bit in my eye. I can hear bugs buzzing in the background down in the bush. I live in the beautiful countryside, but it's a hot day today and the bugs are noisy. There's a bird chirping off in the distance. I can hear a plane flying overhead way off in the distance and I'm, I'm actually not aware of any of this. And I just recognised the tiles on which I'm standing feel warmer than normal because it's such a hot day. You see, these are the things we don't recognise and you might say, well, Ben, they're of complete insignificance. It's a demonstration of the filtration that the subconscious constantly does. So what's happening around about you right now? Let's take a moment, let's take pause and just use your senses, your eyes, your ears, your smell, your feeling, not just through your hands, but what are you feeling on and in your body right now that you would not otherwise have been aware of? It's incredible when we start thinking about it, isn't it? The smells, the intricacies, the breezes, the sensations, the feelings on the inside, wow, that's full on, isn't it? So it's the job of the subconscious then to present to you, to put on your radar, if you will, the things that align with the program of the subconscious mind. But would you be shocked to know that the program that the subconscious mind is running on was installed into that mind by the age you were seven. So by the time you were seven years old, all of the programming was already done up here. Just about all of it. Isn't that, isn't that perplexing? Now it begins to make more sense when we consider the fact that we live in a world of adults who so often act like children. It's because from the ages zero to seven, our mind is in a state of theta neutrality. That's where the subconscious mind acts like a tape recorder. So everything that the subconscious mind sees, everything that it hears and everything that it's told, it records and it just believes. This is why the scripture says that we should approach our faith with that of a child, have childlike faith. Just, just believe. Because up until the age of seven, what you are told you believe. If you've ever had young kids or interacted with young kids and you've, you've told them something, you've given them some sort of truth and it's been a surprise to them, that five or six year old doesn't generally argue back. They go, wow, that, that really, is that right? That just blew my mind. That's because they're in learning mode. They're in recording mode. When we hit the age seven, theta neutrality stops. The brain switches into a different waveform pattern. And instead of the subconscious mind being a recorder, it becomes a tape player. So it plays back all of the programs that were installed on it in those formative years. This is why we should never ever say to young children, you're too noisy, you'll never amount to anything, uh, you're hopeless, money doesn't grow on trees, who do you think you are, you'll never be rich, life's difficult, if you want to achieve something you've got to work really hard, if you want a good job you've got to go and study and this and that. You should never tell these things to a child. You should allow a child to live in the excitement of newness and discover these things through support themselves, not dictating these rules. Because what has happened is we live in a world where as children we go to the shops with mum and dad and we say, can I have this? And they say, no, money doesn't grow on trees. And we say, well, let's go and do this. And they say, no, that's not how the world works. You can't just go and do that. And we say, well, let's go and visit with this friend. And they say, no, you can't just go and do that. You've got to do it this way. And we say, well, I want to be an astronaut. And they say, no, 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 look, you, you'll never go to the moon. That's just for a select few. Why don't you... Think about being a teacher or, or a garbage man or, a, or, or, or working in retail or getting an office job. Or You should never tell a child these things. Let them discover and then support 
Because what is happening is you are programming the subconscious mind and then the subconscious mind begins as adults to simply show to you what is on its radar. There's a part of the mind called the RAS. That's the reticular activating system. So when you are subconsciously aware of something, that's the part of the subconscious mind that is used to present those things to you on your radar screen. And you can stimulate the RAS. You can, you can get access to it. Have you ever noticed, and I've used this example before, but it bears repeating. Have you ever noticed that if you say, for example, do you know what, I haven't seen a green car for such a long time. Next time I go out, I wonder if I'll see a green car, and all of a sudden, you're getting onto the RAS, and the reticular activating system in your subconscious mind, its ears prick up, and it says, green car, okay, all right, all right. So next time we go out, out of those 11 million pieces of stimulation that are pouring into our eyes and ears and nose and touch and sense and taste every minute of every day, in and amongst all that, there are so many green cars, it's just we haven't been aware of it. But now we've engaged the RAS, we begin to see green cars everywhere. We wonder where they've been, but they've always been there. Have you ever heard the saying, when you change the way you look at something, what you look at changes? That's an analogy of what the RAS genuinely does. When you can get the RAS working for you, when you can tap into the subconscious, it will simply go out ahead of you and bring back to you all of the things that validate its belief. So while your subconscious mind is an unchained beast running on the programs that were installed in it up until the age of seven and then modified by behavior all the way up until the current day, every piece of hurt that hasn't been resolved, every disappointment that hasn't been processed, every unfulfilled dream that's been brushed under the rug, these all affect the subconscious mind. They get on the RAS and what does it do? Well, it goes out ahead of you each and every day in your world and it brings back to you all of the things that validate its belief. So if you believe that money doesn't grow on trees, then lack will be your story. If you believe that that's just your lot in life, then that will be your lot in life. But if you believe that better days are coming, that the story is not over, that you have dreams to fulfill and they are there for a reason, then you can access your subconscious mind and begin the task of programming and putting in a new operating system, if you will. So that now when you go out into your world, instead of seeing lack, instead of seeing misfortune, instead of seeing hurt, that all exists. But in and amongst that, is blessing and opportunity and anointing and dreams coming true and pathways to those dreams and hands to hold, acquaintances to make, connections that can help you on your road. They're all there right now. But if you don't have awareness to them, then they will never be put on your radar. So ladies and gentlemen, it's time to change things up and to take a powerful step forward. We can use things like subliminals and affirmations. They're wonderful for changing subconscious programs, for shifting those limiting beliefs and showing them the door. In fact, there's entire playlists on this channel devoted to affirmations and subliminals. There's entire playlists devoted to subconscious programming. When we're finished here, go and check them out. They will show you the mechanics of how to do what you need to do to get your subconscious mind bringing back to you out of all of that information that surrounds you, the things you need to see. You see, you have a dream and you have it for a reason, but it's not just a straight ahead path to get there. There might be connections you need to make along the way, people to meet that you can help and that can help you on your road to manifesting that dream and accomplishing that goal. And they could already be there. In fact, they are already there. But because you're not aware of them 
the benefit of that connection and how to make it, because there's no awareness, the subconscious mind disregards it and shows you that money doesn't grow on trees and shows you that your lot in life is lack and shows you that you will never be good enough or you will never be this or that or the other. It's just a program and as easily it was, as it was installed, it can be shifted. It's about being mindful of the program and seeing these limiting beliefs for what they really are and making a conscious decision to shift the subconscious behaviours that keep you in that perpetual spin. These behavioural drivers keep you spinning and spinning and spinning because there's no awareness. But today, folks, today the story has changed. Today, you gain awareness to what the reticular activating system in your mind actually does and how to access it. Now you can use the 55 by 5 method. That's fantastic for shifting out subconscious limiting beliefs and pummeling your subconscious with a new program. I say on this channel all the time, and maybe you've wondered why, or maybe you've thought it's just a throwaway line, but it's so true that repetition reinforces learning. And that's the truth to the power of so many of these manifesting methods, just like the 55 by 5 where we take an affirmation and write it down on a sheet of paper longhand 55 times a day for five days straight. Do you remember in school when the naughty kid in the classroom would be given lines to write in detention? I will not disrupt my class, or I will not be a clown, or I will not do this, or I will not do that. And they have to write it 100 times, 200 times in detention. That's not just punishment. That's shifting a subconscious pattern that is a driver of behavior. So we can learn from that. We can come up higher and understand that your subconscious can be your best friend. Every piece of information that you need to put the puzzle together, every connection you need to make for that relationship, for that job, for that lottery win, to get that money, to buy the new house, to get the new car, to travel around the world, to be entrepreneurial, Everything you need exists today. It's just stuck in a sea with 11 million other things every second. And how could we be consciously aware of it? So we need to get the RAS working for us. We need to install a new program. We need to pummel the subconscious mind with a new belief, a belief that matches where you're going. So take some time this week to be mindful of what's on your radar. In a sea of information, such few pieces of it make it to our conscious awareness. We can shift that. The power is within us. Use the tools that are available to you. But awareness is where it begins. So this week, why not become aware of what's going on? Why not see if you can find a green car and then see how many of them keep popping up? That will be a simple example for you to show you the power of the RAS. Remember folks, your subconscious mind will simply go ahead of you on autopilot and bring back to you everything that validates its belief and its program. So why don't you be the person who's in charge of that program? If you want to check out more on programming the subconscious, have a look at some of the videos on the channel. There'll be other videos coming up here that you can click and watch about manifesting your dream. Make sure you come back tomorrow. I love you so much. Peace.